Human rights groups and lawyers have withdrawn from the inquiry into whether the British security services knew about or even took part in the torture of prisoners who were detained in the war on terror. Australian police say a device attached to a teenager that took 10 hours to remove was part of an elaborate bomb hoax. Madeleine, more than 50 firefighters pumped out homes and businesses deluged by flash floods in East Yorkshire. Almost 160,000 pupils in Scotland are receiving their exam results this morning and pass rates for hires are up. Human rights activists in Syria say four people were shot dead last night during demonstrations in Damascus and two other cities. Almost 160,000 pupils in Scotland are receiving exam results this morning and pass rates for hires are up. But nearly one in five candidates already found out how they did after they received text messages yesterday by mistake. The Scottish Qualifications Authority says it's launched an urgent investigation into how that happened. OK, let's uh, turn back to business. Sam has uh, the results from Lloyd's, which we family. Would you then set those? Would you set your T5? Very good morning to you. You are watching Breakfast on BBC News. The main stories then this morning. Mr McGowan, known by many for his impersonations, uh, fast though, becoming one of the busiest men in theatre. In the past couple of years, he's performed, written and directed numerous productions. As is uh, Ledis Roll is Professor Henry Higgins. Oh, Bears, thanks for all the birthday wishes this morning. Having a lovely one, thank you. And tomorrow... Uh, we'll be reporting live from Edinburgh at this year's Fringe Festival. Getting underway, of course. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 o'clock to in the morning. Bye-bye.